Welcome to Trivia Viral. Our channel covers all the latest analysis and recaps on TV shows and movies as well as interesting stories and facts that you may not have known. So sit back, relax, and subscribe to our channel if you have been enjoying our videos so far. A group of elderly people are giving interviews about having lived in a climate of crop blight. The first one seen is an elderly woman stating her father was a farmer, but did not start out that way. The family lives a pretty simple life and have a rare treat of attending a game of a supposedly major league baseball team at a local ball field similar to what the Little League play on today. His father-in-law is unimpressed at the amateurishness of the players. Only popcorn for refreshments and no hot dogs. An approaching dust cloud interrupts the game reminding them of the grim world they live in and ends it prematurely. The family makes back to the farmhouse during the dust storm. When the girl's bedroom did not have the window closed, and the dust settled into perfect lines on the floor. The man spends the entire night studying the lines, and he thinks the lines are binary code and coordinates for a place he feels the need to find and uses a map. He spends the next day driving to the Rockies, and his daughter sneaks into the truck to come with him. Soon after arriving at his final destination, he is apprehended and tasered into unconsciousness. This video is sponsored by QD. QD is Asia's largest platform for students, tutors, and coaches to find and book lessons online or offline all from a single platform. Sign up at QD today. When he wakes up, he is in a room being interrogated by a strange-looking robot called TARS. It turns out he is in the best-kept secret in the world, a bunker, and meets his old boss from NASA, plus his beautiful young daughter. Nobody is convinced that he just stumbled into the place by accident. The next morning, he does his best to comfort his sobbing daughter. She refuses his assurance and that her bookshelf is communicating with her in Morse code to stay. Despite her pleas, he won't back down and one more book falls down before he leaves. But he disregards it. The man leaves and says goodbye, and while he's driving away, his daughter storms out the front door wanting to see him one last time, but it's too late. The space shuttle craft rockets away from Earth at high speed with the man, the boss daughter, the other astronauts, and the TARS and CASE robots on board. There are scientists that were in the conference room, NASA during the meeting with the man. When the spacecraft leaves the atmosphere, everything goes quiet all of a sudden, except the inside. The old NASA boss makes a trip in his old 2010 Dodge Ram truck to deliver the vehicle back to the homestead and give a tape-recorded message from him to his family. The daughter appears hoping her father is home, but angrily storms back into the house. He tells the boss about how she's making fools out of her teachers, but the boss tells him maybe she'll eventually make a fool out of him. Two years later, the daughter stops recording the video. She is now working for the old NASA boss and living in the NASA bunker, who is now about 90 years old and confined. The boss is still trying to solve the incomplete gravity equation to get Planner rolling and is reassuring her that the crew of the Endurance are receiving their recorded messages. The daughter returns to the old man homestead with her brother, who is a farmer. He has just torched a third of his crop because of blight, which is spreading. He now has his old neighbor's crop to cultivate since the neighbor moved or died. She discovers he has a bad cough. They want her to stay the night, but she refuses because of bad memories from her childhood. A day or two later, the daughter is back at the NASA bunker and learns the boss is dying. He confesses to her that Plana is not possible and that he had lied to her. He could never solve the gravity equation to get people off Earth. The old boss dies. She sends a video message to the boss daughter informing her of her father's death and begs him to tell the truth that the whole thing had been a sham. The Endurance crew make it to man's planet a few months later. The planet is perpetually cold, covered with glaciers, and has a poisonous atmosphere of methane filled with ice clouds. His friend, who has been in cryosleep for over 35 years, is awakened by the man and has a mental breakdown. In relief, he is rescued. He tells the story of the frigid, but beautiful world he lives in, indicating it has 80% of Earth's gravity and the lower part is livable, possibly even a source of fresh water. Back on Earth, the daughter and her boyfriend, another NASA physicist, are driving in her Jeep, somewhere in her subconscious. She has a gut feeling that the coordinates of dust on the floor of her bedroom long ago gave her a hint, along the books being pushed off the shelf and with a Morse code message for her father to stay. His friend has steadfastly refused to listen to the warnings from the man and the bus not to dock with the Endurance, but he continues his efforts. He's manually maneuvered the ship into docking position, but ignores the computer's warnings of imperfect lock, and we see the docking pincers attempting to grab but failing to lock in. In mid-sentence the coupling release, and the violent expulsion of air into space carries him with it, and resulting collision causes an explosion. The Endurance is now out of control, and he tells that he is going to dock with it, even though it is now in a rapid rotation. He descends in the black hole towards a grid full of cubbleholes, thinking he's dead, and finds himself in some sort of afterlife, 
and unaware of what sort of surroundings he's in which resembles a tesseract. He hits an object along with a bunch of others that look like books stacked and knocks one down, revealing 10-year-old daughter reacting at an object falling from her bookshelf back at the farmhouse. He knocked down the lunar lander model shown at the beginning of the movie. He's screaming out for his daughter, but she walks away with it and doesn't hear him. Then he sees his daughter in another part of the grid pleading for her father not to leave. He watches this begging himself not to go and to stay using Morse code by knocking the books off the shelf. Cooper breaks down realizing that he should have listened and not gone on the mission. Then there is a belt daughter at the bedroom while the fire is still burning, and she realizes all along that her father himself was the ghost communicating with her feeling comforted and reassured. Now it's all making sense to her and she's no longer angry with him and has hope, but she's still trying to find out what her father is trying to signal to her, recalling the events of the dust storm coordinates and the books falling off. Back in the black hole, the Tesseract is now closing up, with the man convinced that all work, and he is comforted that future human beings constructed it to make all this happen and tells Tars everything is okay. He comes across the Endurance when it passed through the wormhole and touches his friend hand, then knocked unconscious into the orbit of Saturn with a couple of beaming lights approaching him. The man is about to go to the hospital room where the elderly daughter is living out the final days of her life. She insisted on being brought to the station to say goodbye to her father. A nurse tells him that her family is in there and that she's spent the last two years in Chrysler. He was even though he's the same age he was when he left, and she's 99 years old and near death. He assures her he was the ghost that communicated to her in her room. She doesn't want him to see her die. He slowly leaves her room to see her one last time, and she's surrounded by her beloved family and his descendants he knows nothing about. Knowing the space station is not where he belongs, he takes his daughter's advice to go seek out the boss daughter, who has landed on Edmund's planet to start colonization. What are your thoughts about the story? Let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe if you would like to see more similar videos and give us a thumbs up to get more recommendations of our videos. Be the first to watch the latest videos by clicking the bell icon. See you on the next video.